guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tasha Antwi and I am a digital marketing professional from London. I work in SEO. I head up a team at an agency in London. Um, apart from that, I also love fashion, of course, and a bit of luxury fashion as well. So, and I make content. That's why we're all here today, guys, and that's why you've probably logged onto YouTube and you've clicked on this video. Anyway, <laughs> until I've had a few takes with this. Um, today I'm doing a bit of a luxury collective haul where I've got where I've picked up a few bits in the last like month or two, um, which I'm going to show you guys. For the content, please like and subscribe, as there'll be more of this coming your way and of course there'll be a variety of videos like i said uh, from career to fashion to fashion again maybe a little bit of beauty who knows but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one so first up we've got this cut out top from dion lee um i love this brand by the way like suddenly got really obsessed nothing's ever in my size but it's okay net a porter um but um I got this actually in the January sale. So I think it was like originally like 300 something pound. And I'm pretty sure I've paid half price. I don't have to check. I'll put the price on screen. Yeah, that's basically how much I put on to this. Um, I'm not gonna try this on for you today, guys. I'm not gonna lie because I've strong plans to actually wear this tomorrow um, because I am going out for dinner. But I have shot this, it is on my grid. I will put a picture maybe somewhere here so you can see what it looked like and how I just styled it. It's really, really nice. Um, in obviously this picture I'm showing you, I'm wearing um, denim, but I actually do recommend wearing it with like nice, just different type of trouser, like a cargo green pant. Um, I saw it start like this on the model and I really, really liked it. And I want to go and find trousers which were the same because as usual, nothing's in my size. So yeah, anyway, so this is this top from Dion Lee. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Dion Lee is an Australian brand and um, more recently it's really caught my attention. They have really nice, cool, um, kind of corsetti um, tops, extreme cutouts in this kind of heavy duty kind of knit. Um, which I'm really, really enjoying. And I just love how flattering um, this is um, when you do wear it. And um, the way it is, it's sexy, but still covers up. So it's still sexy, but conservative, you know what I mean? So that's what I kind of like about this top um, and about the brand as well. So I will be buying more from Dion Lee. Next up, we have this pink two-piece set, um, which is actually from, should we bring you down? Bring you down a little bit. Next, I have this two-piece set from Netta Porter, um, especially from a brand called Sleeper. And Sleeper, you probably would have seen a lot on Instagram, people wearing these nice silky pajamas with um, feathers on the, the sleeves and on the bottom of the trousers. It's usually from a brand called Sleeper. So they've actually got this Lurex set out. It comes in this color and it came in a gold. I originally wanted the gold, but then when it came, it was like a weird dirty gold. I don't know like a bit more on the khaki green side of things. So I exchanged it for this pink baby, which I have not actually worn yet. And um, I had to get it. Um, one thing, sizing was a bit weird. So I'm not a big person, but I am slightly curvy on the bottom. So I had to go up a couple sizes in order to get the trousers to fit. So I do probably need to get this altered slightly. It's got these, um, bell sleeve at the end and it's got a similar or the same kind of design on the the trousers but yeah i thought it would be like a nice little dinner at isabelle's or something kind of outfit and um yeah so i'll try this one for you guys using natural light but anyway this is the pink sleeper outfit on like i said very big i had to get um the extra large but to give you context i just put it back so this is what the medium looked like on me which is really nice it's got a sharp v detailing at the top and like i said the trousers have the same oh i don't know if you can see this is a sleeper outfit on this outfit is marmite i know but i really like it um like i said i had to get a few sizes up just to get trousers that can actually fit um it's just so you can see the detailing of this properly 
um, I love how pointy these are if I was to do it right up to the top and you can see the detail the pink detail and the the um, sleeve so this is more how I see myself potentially wearing um, this outfit um, I just really got bored of wearing black so I'm trying to inject a bit more colour I feel like this suit or this outfit is coming up a bit of a slightly different colour on camera I look very curvy actually why um, but yeah so yeah, I got this originally in the medium. The medium was fine. It's just the bottoms that didn't fit. So I had to go up a couple sizes, but um, I will get this tailored properly. But yeah, this is probably most likely how I'd probably wear this outfit out. I'm not a loose shirt type of person, but that's what how it started on the model and it actually looks good that way. This is the look. Next up, we have not one, but two Tom Ford shorts. I will only try on, I will do a try on for these so you can see what these look like. I have actually worn these and have shot them on my grid, but there's a long story. So <laughs> these are satin shorts from Tom Ford. Um, it's got like a velvety kind of design at the top and then you've got the, lo the logo straight in the middle. These look really big. Um, it's not that big, but anyway, they look big on camera. So anywho, I bought, the green one first which is this one actually no I'm lying I actually ordered these ones first and it was black ones I wanted I was like I need those and it's pretty affordable it's like uh, roughly 145 pounds for Tom Ford and shorts so I was like okay I need those hence why I end up with two so anyway so I wanted these ones initially and they were sold out so I managed to get them via on Louisa Villarreba but then when I bought them it had some crazy lead time I was like, am I gonna grow old before I receive these shorts? While being um, impatient, waiting for these to come, this came in stock on the Tapota, and I actually really love this olive green color. Like I said, I was having a bit of a moment with green last year, and it didn't matter what shade of green, it just needs to be green, and I was there. Anyway, and then I ended up picking these up. They don't have um, pockets, by the way, but they do have a little slit situation on the sh on the end of the shorts. I got these in a large because I just always assume that designer ready to wear is going to be small, but I could actually get away with a medium really. Um, so yeah, so bear that in mind when you do if you do order these or if you want to order these. Um, yeah, just do bear that in mind if this was something you were interested in and wanted to pick up. So. I only actually got these black shorts not too long ago and I actually haven't worn or styled them yet so I will do that for you right now. This is basically how I'd probably wear it. Obviously I'd probably wear like a better crop top underneath this hence why my hand is here. But anyway, this is what the Tom Ford shorts look like on in the long mirror. I'm also wearing um, these Elias that I've got. I just realised I've got to feature it in this video. so. If they make an appearance you know why so yeah so this is this look i really like this one actually right here we go again another green dress this time it's from rattan boa it's actually a very similar color very similar color to the tom ford shorts and um, but yeah so this is from rattan boa it's going to look like fabric right now because it's a satiny kind of draped dress one shoulder it's got this long um bit of fabric and um, which kind of wraps around your neck depending on how you'd like to wear it just quite nice and it's got tassels on the end which i love very nice kind of holiday slash night out kind of outfit i feel like the this extra sash thing that you can use to wrap around your neck which basically holds the dress up as well um is very elegant as well and you can wear it on holiday you can wear it on a night out but a nice little bougie night out you know um but yeah so i like these and last but not least we have these sunglasses these are oh, oh can you see yep these are from versace i actually got these in december along with a gucci hat which i realized i don't actually have with me to show you but i can show you the hat um over here that i also got um, but anyway, so yeah, I got these. I got these because I was going to Dubai and I was like, I just need a new pair of black sunglasses. I just love these. Are you seeing what this is doing? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, these are a vibe. I absolutely love these sunnies. 
Um, I do have quite a few. I've got loads of sunglasses, but these are fast becoming my fave. They actually come in a few colours, like white. But um, this is like the hexagon kind of shaped sunglasses with the Medusa on the sides um, as well. It it gives is giving Y two K. It's giving bougie. It's just it's just yeah. It's just a bit of me, which I like. So yeah, that's these sunglasses on. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys these um, shoes that you would have seen me wear with the Tom Ford shorts. Um, these bad boys are from Alaya, and um, they're called the Ch Chamois. Cham Chamois. Cham and let me not even embarrass myself. Anyway. It's um, got this beautiful flower detailing on the um, ankle and of the the base of the shoe. Um, it's made out of suede, a really nice um, buttery kind of suede. And it's got the same detailing um, of the flowers down here. And um, it's got like a mini platform. So this actually really like elongates your legs, looks really nice. And I absolutely love them. Um, I actually bought these on like a friends and family kind of discount so they were like seven eight hundred pounds i can't remember and i bought them on sale for just 120 pounds what a bargain i mean i mean for 120 pounds what a bargain trust me these were a bargain so yeah anyway um i love them they're very elongating on the foot just because of how they are and on the heels but yeah so that's these. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. There'll be more collective haul videos um, to come, as well as um, some other career-y, digital marketing-y kind of videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.